Question number nine, Phil Twyford. Mr Speaker, my question is for the Minister responsible for Housing New Zealand Corporation. How much is Housing New Zealand spent in total on consultants and contractors for work related to selling state houses as part of the government's social housing reforms? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, I'm advised Housing New Zealand provide an annual disclosure to Select Committee on Contractors and Consultants that it uses across the full range of its activity for the financial review. Uh, Housing New Zealand are unable to provide the specific information the member seeks because consultants frequently undertake multiple tasks and individual tasks are not systematically recorded. However, the value is likely to be small given that most of the work on the social housing reform program is being undertaken by government departments, not by Housing New Zealand. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order for Phil Twyford. This question was on notice. It's very simple. It's very specific. Order. Order. I cannot order. believe that the order. Minister could, order. could not get this order. information. The, the Minister gave a very full answer as, as to why it was unable to. That information isn't collated the way the members ask the question. That's the answer that's given. The way forward is not to raise a point of order saying the question hasn't been asked. The way forward now is to use supplementary questions to delve further into the issue. Entry. Order. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. How can he not know how much the government is spending on its flagship policy that was the centrepiece of the Prime Minister's State of the Nation speech and involves selling assets worth up to billions of dollars. The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, as I said, the value of the work, although it's not the answer the member wants, is likely to be small. But it does depend how you count some. So, for instance, because Housing New Zealand has been a state monopoly, they had a poor understanding of the condition of their houses. And when we have gone to the market, when we've gone and gone to the market about whether they want to buy them, they want more information about the condition of the houses. And Housing New Zealand has had to spend more money finding out what state their asset is in. And actually, they should have been doing that all along. Order. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Is the reason? Is the reason that he is ashamed to answer the question that Housing New Zealand spent $1.6 million on advice from Andrew Boddy on selling state houses and then tried to hide the fact, along with his conflict of interest, with a PPP advisor from the UK, John Lang? Uh, the Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, absolutely not. Uh, and I under, I'm, I'm advised that that member has been trying to get that story up in the media, but because he hasn't got his facts right, the media won't run it. So he's decided to try and run it in here. Supplementary. <laughs> it's in the Herald. Order. It's in the Herald, Bill. Order. 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 Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Why is he refusing? Why is he refusing to release the names of ten individuals or organisations that he or Treasury met to discuss the sale of state houses when he'd already released the names of 168 others? And what is it about those ten individuals or organisations that he's trying to hide from the public? The Honourable uh, Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, I don't know what the member's referring to, but if he's worried about the Chinese names, uh, we could probably go and have a look and see how many of the 168 do have Chinese names. Uh, frankly, I don't, we don't really record people by their ethnic origin, uh, prospective residency, or whether their grandparents came here for the Central Otago Gold Rush in the 1860s, as many Chinese did. Why is Supplementary it question, Phil Twyford. Why is it necessary to legislate to give him the power to directly sell state houses, an approach his own officials have described as without precedent, 
And is it just so that he can do dirty deals, flogging off billions of dollars of land and housing to his cabinet club mates? Order. That's very, what it's order. The first order. The first part of the question can be answered, and that was why is it necessary of the legislation. The second part of the question is ruled out of order. Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the, all aspects of the government's policy around social housing reform are readily available on the internet. I know that's a bit much for the Labor Party, because they think a day's work is sending a tweet, and actually looking at a website would be a week's work, and he clearly hasn't clearly hasn't done that. But, Mr Speaker, we're overcoming the legacy of 50 years of mismanagement of a multi-billion dollar asset, and we are, we are keen to get expertise from people who know how to run state houses better and do a better job for our tenants. And that's what the Social Housing Reform Programme is about. Question or